Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about front-end applications and scale. So let's get into it. So this question was a bit of a statement followed by a question. It was posted on a video that I made uh, that is called How do you become a senior front-end developer? And the short version of that video is basically me saying that I've never met one or at least not someone who I would consider to be a senior in the same sense as many backend uh, software developers uh, are referred to. Uh, so, the question, uh, so, the, so the question was, good points about the bar being so low, because I basically say that the bar for being, for being called a senior, so a senior front-end developer is like almost, it's almost embarrassingly low in many cases. Uh, not always, but in many cases. If you there are exceptions. Uh, I also thought about being a senior front-end developer just to me. Uh, the, I also think that being a senior front-end developer just means knowing all the tools, tools, but now that I'm working on a large project, I have to stop and think before each step. Congratulations, now you are, are aware of the, the real, the, what really is a problem in front-end. And it's not CSS versus CSS in, in JS, I can tell you that much. Making decisions which allow for the product to scale. That's what you need to know to be a senior front-end developer, in my opinion. Uh, and I agree with you. Next question. How do you scale a front-end application? And there's even another comment. How do you scale a front-end application? So, uh, the, in your statement, you, I think that we are very much in agreement. Uh, what I s argue is that for you to be any if you want to, if in my book at the very least, if you want the title senior, you need to be a person who understands how to scale a software project. Nothing else really matters. Like, I mean, sure, you can be a specialist for sure. There are people who, as I've said before, people in the performance space, and I'm not saying that one is better than the other. What I'm saying is that the most valuable thing on average to any software company, almost all of them, is senior level experience because most companies have a problem scaling their applications not to beat some performance metric or at least not to beat a performance metric that can't be acquired or be beaten by a senior software developer because a real senior software developer will know at least the basics of how to make something sort of performant if that makes sense with within the parameters of the problem and then there are absolute companies who hire highly specialized talented super um, developers who know more or who are even more even better at this stuff and sure they are useful but the, like you you always it's always critical i don't care what problem you have to have people who know how to scale something. And that goes for ops, it goes for back end, it goes for front end. Uh, it's just that in front end there is no, th there's really no culture around it, in my opinion at the very least. Like the, the discussions in front end are usually not so much about like, uh, architecture uh, per se, it's more, uh, it, it, it's m as I said, more about tooling. So to, for me to answer this question, I, I want you to know that I don't have a silver bullet answer for this. Uh, nothing uh, that's going to have to... I could give you, based on my experiences, of course, what I know works pretty darn well when it comes to scaling a front-end application. It's just that even though I, even if I tell you, uh, it you, you're most likely not going to be able to to do it without having the experience and the pain and years and so forth uh, of dealing with all the ways you should not do it. So here's my how you should do it because I did all the things that you should not do. So uh, the first thing I argue is that uh, you should, in, like this is like the low hanging fruit, invest in TypeScript, number one. The reason is because mm, when it comes to scale, type systems beat uh, scripting languages or like uh, having a type system will uh, almost always, always, uh, I will go as far as to say to always beat a, an untyped language every single day of the week. Uh, an entire category of bugs and issues go away uh, by just having a type system and TypeScript is, in my opinion, the best thing since sliced bread. Uh, 
ever. It's the best thing. Uh, every single front end application and every single node project. Like if you're doing anything semi serious in JavaScript, you should be using TypeScript. So that's the easy one. After that, uh, it comes the trickier part. Now you need to start thinking about all right, wh what are the business requirements of the work that we are doing? And that is the thing that is like really impossible for me to say because I don't know what scale you work at and work in. I can give you a basic architecture description of what's going to work at small scale and up to the scale of like Google or like uh, like some super gigantic corporation in terms of how you structure your code. So the way that I argue that you, st you should structure your code, let's say for the sake of argument that you're doing things in React, is that you should create modules, packages. That sort of, th this is what you should be aiming for. In other words, uh, I like to say that you should try to centralize all the components and all the logic, all the whatever it is, it tests, it doesn't really matter into a module that represents a specific thing in your application. So in other words, if you have a button, you don't put that button together with all the other, like the side navigations and like the drop downs and all that stuff in some type of component uh, thing. You create a folder for that thing and then you put it in and call that button or whatever and then you add the tests and like all the thing all the all the quality things that you would add and associated css or css in js if you're using that into that folder that fo that directory now that folder is the single source of truth for everything related to that component and then you compose it in a very similar way how uh, atomic design systems you may have heard about this like you create atoms molecules organisms etc etc so you compose things together right this sounds very easy in when I say it like this but it is enormously tricky to abide by and then once you have have started doing this like try to avoid like grouping and nesting and like all of this stuff just keep it dirt simple make sure that you're using just really stable tools like if you don't need if you if it's not critical to the success of your project do not add it to your project don't add all these weird little libraries that do these kind of small things like just use the main stuff the stable stuff and don't couple yourself sell yourself to all these different packages that you could be using just use the stuff that is bare bones and then build the majority of the things yourself unless it really really will slow you down the reason behind this is simple because if you own all the code you don't have problems with versions you're not locked in by some third party who has where you depend on their thing and then you have a new use case and you can't change it now because they have the code and you don't but if you do it yourself you can actually make that happen uh, not saying that you should like rewrite re -re react like react is a good uh, dependency or angular or view whatever you're using like that thing is a good dependency but maybe every single little library that might make something slightly nicer just fucking ignore it you, the less code you have that is not within your own sphere I like could just gen general less code better better across the board so that's the second thing and then I will say that the the hardest part, and this is the thing that requires enormous amounts of investments from the company and from whoever is going to do this, and this is the only thing I've ever seen work, and it works pretty much every single goddamn time, and that's why I think it's so great. You need to establish a trust a uh, between a central team that manages the standardization process of all your uh, front-end uh, components and all this good stuff. That team needs to be consistent of at least one or two highly experienced software developers with strong social skills who can go into dialogues with the design team. Because if the designers do not follow standards or they don't uh, like create a design system or something like that, you are screwed my friend and nothing you do will ever ever become standard ever it can't be done because everything starts with the designers if the designers design something that is non-standard 
and you have to build it hey you have another permutation to that thing and I can go into so many ways to dealing with that problem and so forth but like I mean I'm already over time so I can't like go into like guys there would be an entire series of all the tips like how you can decide between okay should I make multiple components or should I use a variant system um, when do I say no when do I add a configuration to my components is that the way to go like there's so many complexities to this and as I said it really is down to experience here uh, but that is what you're gonna need in order to make this work and that team like it's not every company can will want to invest in this sort of thing they need to be empowered to actually do this stuff they need to be paid to actually work with the standardization so that these components that you standardize on gets consumed by the product teams and these product teams should in turn know that they are expected to use the standard stuff and you need the backing from your manager to do that and unless you have that backing it ain't gonna happen because it's almost always easier to build something yourself really quickly uh, if uh, and like you create your own deviations and so forth then it is to follow a practice or a standard so what I want you to take away from this is that if scaling a front-end product project is so difficult that I can't give you the like the I can't give the it's impossible for me to give you a short answer to this problem uh, it is literally so hard that uh, the norm is that you can't do it I will go as far as to say that the norm is like I will I have to this day never been to a uh, to a nice front-end project in any company I've never talked to anybody who who has an, a good opinion about the state of their front-end code it's it is that difficult and I can only give you like I know what works at least from my perspective what I think works really really well and the easy and short version is number one use TypeScript it's gonna save you so much problem so many problems number two everything is a module literally every component has its own directory it's like you can call it micro frontends if you want to or whatever everything is it's is its own isolated thing and you centralize everything so a button is a button everything all the tests everything that is associated to CSS whatever is in that directory if I strip if I delete that directory that that thing does not exist within your code base anymore think npm packages that is how you structure everything Third and lastly, you need an experienced team of design uh, of software developers who can create a standardization process and uh, work together with the designers and the other teams to actually build new components that can be consumed instead of having everybody create their own version of everything. That is the safest way. And that standard framework that you're creating is has to be accessible enough and fit the use case of all of these different stakeholders that it's actually going to get consumed and that my friend is a completely different video how to get the buy-in on that sort of thing and it's far from every company is going to let you to do uh, let you do that and if they don't let you do that you can kiss the whole getting your front-end application scalable goodbye uh, or give me a better tip because I've never seen it work without that uh, in place have a great day